Alright, hey everybody, welcome to the trade guide in Project Zomboid. We're going to go over all the available and negative trades. Now, I did get myself some recommendations from other people as well, so it's not just going to be my own ideas. I'm going to show you a few builds as well that I can recommend for you guys to actually go over. If it's your first time here, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and drop a like if you guys want to see more Project Zomboid content. Today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own Project Zomboid server and have no idea how to start? Then I recommend checking out Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can make a server in minutes. The servers all have high performance and super easy to use. When I started using Pine Hosting, I had no idea about anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I did learn the basics very shortly. They have DDoS protection, locations all around the world, and affordable pricing. They also have a workshop installer, which is super easy to use. If you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your server. And also, it's not just Project Zomboid Hosting, they also offer a wide range of games such as Minecraft, Rust, and Unturned. If you guys are interested, make sure to check out Pine Hosting today and use the called LDG for 30% off and let's get straight into the video. So first things first, what we're going to go over is if we're going to go over to the occupation being unemployed. This will give you 8 extra points. Now I do recommend that you can obviously get yourself any job that you would like, but some of the best jobs that I do recommend is burglar. This will give you really good light-footed, nimble, sneaking, strength and fitness as well. And another job that I may recommend is police officer. This is really good with weapons. And another one would be Lumberjack. But for the sake of the first build, let's go over just being unemployed. So one of some of the ones that I personally prefer for the negative is let's get ourselves Sunday Driver, Slow Reader, Conspicuous, Prone to Illness, Smoker, Weak Stomach, Overweight, and Thin Skinned. Now from that we already have ourselves 40 points. Now let's explain them really briefly. So basically Thin Skins basically... What I do recommend for this is just do not get hit. If you do get hit, you'll probably have a higher chance of getting scratched or a bite. So I would recommend just don't get hit for this. You can actually get rid of this quite quickly. All you have to do is just do some exercise in your world. Conspicuous, you will just get spotted by zombies quicker. So, I mean, if you get spotted by them quicker, then you just have to kill them. Prone to illness, all you have to do for this is don't get bit or don't stay out in the rain too long so you don't catch a cold. Smoker, you can find stickers very commonly. Weak stomach, all you have to do is just don't eat any rotten food. Slow reader, I mean, you still read, but it's just gonna take a bit longer. And if you're in single player, you can always speed it up. And Sunday driver, you doesn't really see any difference. You just drive a bit slower. And from that, we already have 40 points. Now, some of the ones that I do recommend for the positive trades, first of all, is Dexterious. I really, really like this one. You transfer the item so quickly, it's insane. Another one would be Strong, which is obviously quite self-explanatory. We still have ourselves 28 points, which is actually really, really good. You can get yourself organized as well. Light eater. This will also help you when it comes to being overweight. Outdoorsman, so that you don't actually get sick in the colder months. You can also get yourself handy. This will help you when it comes to carpentry and maintenance. And you still have 8 points from that. And obviously you can get yourself, for example, like cat's eyes, wakeful, and long blunt. And there you have probably in my opinion is one of the strongest builds and usually what I go over. Keep in mind that you can actually also get yourself a new load, you can type it as unemployed and you just don't have to do it every single time. Now let's get ourselves some of the ones that I do with the jobs. Next we have ourselves a job when it comes to the X-Men. Now this build is from a friend of mine named Scully. He does have played the game for quite a little and this is what he recommends. So for the negative traits, let's he usually pick slow healer, underweight, fear of blood, smoker, and weak stomach. And as for the positive, he gets outdoorsman, brawler, organized, and strong. Now I do recommend if you're going to get this when it comes to using an axe as your main weapon because everything is kind of built around it. Another really good build for when it comes to using the X-Men, which is another build from another friend of mine named Lucio, is the following build. So first things first is you get yourself thin-skinned, high thirst, all you have to do is just carry yourself a few bottles, on you, slow healer, prone to illness, weak stomach, and Sunday driver. As for the positive, he goes with outdoorsman, Organized, athletic, and strong. Another build that I build with as well is the one with the burglar. So this is the build that I can usually go for. First of all, we get out of shape. 
Overweight, Slow Healer, Slow Learner, Smoker, Clumsy, Slow Reader, and Sunday Driver. And then we get ourselves Brawler, Dexterous, Thick Skinned, and Strong. Now till now, I have survived the longest with this build. All you have to do is just do a bit of exercise for Overweight and Out of Shape. As for Slow Healer and Slow Learner, you will still do them, it's just gonna take a bit longer. Clumsy, you're just gonna make a bit of noise when you move, so you may alert a bit zombies quicker. And as for Sunday Driver, as we mentioned earlier, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be harder for you to get bit with Thick Skinned. For Brawler, it's going to actually be really, really good for melee damage. And for Strong, you actually knock over zombies and kill them much quicker. And that is it for this traits video. I hope that you guys did learn something new. If you guys would like to see another one come out soon with another guide, then let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.